So, it's Leo. I'm back talking about Dragon Quest 12. Feels like I've been talking a lot about Dragon Quest Die lately, but I've been itching to discuss this topic, the purpose of life in Dragon Quest 12. In the Dragon Quest 12 teaser trailer, the narrator says something along the lines of, what is the purpose of life, or why do people live? The game is also called Dragon Quest 12: The Flames of Fate. All of this kind of leads to some form of decision making in this game, and Yuji Horii confirms this in the 35th anniversary livestream. Decisions that he comments could change the whole game. In short, it looks like game decisions are going to help you find your purpose in Dragon Quest 12. But how will these game decisions be handled? All we can do is speculate, right? With the decisions can change the whole game line from Hori, there's so many guesses you can make. Will NPCs or certain factions treat you differently based on your actions? Are there just straight up multiple endings? When Yuji Hori was asked if the game changing decisions were something like the choosing of wives from Dragon Quest V, he said something along the lines of, not really, it's a game where you have control over your life which sounds to me like this game will have much more freedom than the previous Dragon Quest games. Maybe even dialogue options besides yes and no. I can dream, right? Even though Yuji Horii denied Dragon Quest XII being similar to Dragon Quest V, with the expanded choices of control over your life, there will most likely still be marriage in Dragon Quest XII, Dragon Quest VIII, and Dragon Quest XI had it. With the newest additions of each of those games, they actually went out of their way to add more romantic options. So I'd be surprised if marriage was not a thing in Dragon Quest XII. For me personally, I'd love to find my purpose in life and make decisions through engaging side quests. The side quests in Dragon Quest XI were kind of boring in my opinion, but to be fair, it is a game you could spend like 100 hours in with just main story content. It's a fantastic game, but good story-driven side quests makes me feel more like I'm a part of the world. For example, if my decision to help a certain tribe of people deal with someone who practices forbidden magic in their village gets me distracted for 5 to 10 hours from the main plot, that's too clean. That changes the game for me like Yuji Hori said. It maybe even lets me find my purpose in life with casting unnatural spells for my own benefit. Stay with me here, but Xenoblade 3 did a great job of having side quests reward you with interesting story lore and new gameplay mechanics, while still having a great main story. I'd love to see something like that in Dragon Quest XII, even if the main story length takes a hit. I mean, even if the main game is only 40 to 60 hours long, that's still a lot of video game. And if those Dragon Quest XII side quests are done well enough, they could even feel like main story content. It felt like that when I was playing Xenoblade 3 at some points. Another personal want for the whole finding your purpose in life theme is character creation, especially if they're going to hit me with another silent protagonist. Character creation goes well with the seemingly greater amount of freedom we will have in this game and helps me feel more connected when I'm making these life purpose finding decisions. Also, it's just cool for leaning into for role playing. However, like I said earlier, all we can do is speculate. We are still stuck with just a teaser trailer. Maybe when Yuji Hori says you will have control over your life, we will be able to play as different races like ogres, elves, etc. The things you were able to play as in Dragon Quest X. Heck, maybe that's why Dragon Quest X never came to the West. They're making a new game implementing elements from Dragon Quest X with expanded player choice and freedom. That's pretty much all I got for this one though. I upload weekly all things Dragon Quest. Join me and transcend humanity. Let's reach 600 subscribers. Bye.